How to install the ABI actuator. Start by taking your main cable, your two leads, positive and negative for the battery, and your connection going up to your toggle switch. You will run, want to run the cable from front to back with the battery and wherever your desired toggle switch it, location is. Running it to the back, sticking mostly to the frame away from all moving parts, parts that may be hot, pinch points, and various things. After running your wires up to the battery, you will then want to disconnect the positive and negative terminals allowing you to connect the wires onto the battery. Starting with the negative, Take off the nut connected to the terminal. Run your white wire, which is ground, onto the terminal. Tighten it down. Disconnect the positive. And connect the positive. To construct your toggle switch, you will start with the main plate that goes on the back. There are two nuts holding this place, plate in place. and a seven millimeter wrench will allow you to tighten them down. The next piece that goes on is the extension. You will take the sh shorter shank, place it through, and will be held on by one of these nuts. With a Phillips screwdriver on one end, Five sixteenths ratchet on the other. You will want to leave it somewhat loose to adjust it to the de desired position when mounting.
Next, we will show you how to attach the actuator. First, your unit will come with a manual jack. You will want to lower the jack down until the jack becomes loose so you can disconnect the pin holding the jack on. Next, you will need a three-quarter inch socket and wrench to disconnect your jack from the axle. you will want to reuse the same hardware to mount the actuator. Once the jack is out of place, the actuator will be mounted with the same bolt. with the collar facing towards the pin. Next we will mount the control box. You will take the actuator you have just mounted and flip it towards the back. Take the control box with the plate facing the tow vehicle. You will take your bracket, place underneath with a washer and a nut on each side. and using a half inch socket switch back and forth between it, each side to tighten down. Next, you will connect the actuator. And you may find that the collar will not want to reach up to the pin. In that case, you will then connect your power. For connecting the actuator, you may need your toggle switch in hand to adjust the height. 
You will take the actuator, slide it all the way to the opposite side of your bolt, bring the actuator up, and while firmly holding the actuator, you will adjust the height to meet your pin. Once you've got your height, and you may need to adjust a couple of times, you will slide the pin back in and secure it with the linchpin. After you have finished wiring your unit to your tow vehicle, you will then want to secure the wires to both the unit and to the tow vehicle with the exception of where your unit will connect and disconnect. Next, you will want to find a location to mount your switch. On NARS, we have located a bar that sits across the passenger seat. You will want to pick a location that doesn't have a lot of traffic, moving parts, hot areas, somewhere easy to access from the driver's position, and something that's not going to get bumped by a leg or you know, ripped up by moving a seat, anything along those lines. So our bar location here will work out perfect when there's mostly just a single operator on the unit. After you have gotten the switch mounted, you will then take your wiring feed for the rocker switch, bring it up from your location, and simply plug it in. If you ordered the optional wireless key fob for your actuator, you will look down in your control box, find that the wireless key fob is already connected, and you will just need to pull the key fobs out. And once all your wiring is done, they will be ready to use.